Now, if you can imagine it, as you go deeper and deeper down your hole into the center of the earth, there's more and more air above you. And the more air there is, the heavier it is, the more presses down on you, and that increases the air pressure. Now, rather than actually go deeper, Simon is gonna fill this chamber full of lots of air. That's gonna increase the pressure artificially. Okay, let me know when you're good to go. Let's do it then. Oh, you can feel it straight away. Wow, he's going already. Look at the state of that, look. All the air around him is really high pressure. So it's pushing down and it's really low pressure inside him. So it can't do anything, it's just getting squashed and squashed. And the reason that we're not doing that is because we've got fluid inside us. And that kind of pushes out and balances out. Well, it's getting really warm as well, really hot. John's completely gone. It's important to remember this, that the air isn't gone from John. It's still in there, but it's just compressed. 30 meters. Is my voice going higher? <laughs> We're now at such a high pressure, the way my vocal cavity vibrates has changed and my voice comes out at a higher pitch. I sound a bit like Donald Duck. Okay, that's the chamber at the bottom, at 50 meters. We're only a tiny fraction of the way to Australia, the equivalent of 14 kilometers, in fact. You just feel a little bit, oh, I feel a bit drunk. And it's not just my voice that's gone weird. What, what you're experiencing is nitrogen narcosis. I'm trying to make sentences. <laughs> because of the higher pressure down here, I'm breathing in much more nitrogen gas than I normally would, and that really affects my nerve impulses. I can't take my voice seriously. I feel like I'm trashed and I can't think straight. Give me a piece of chalk and uh, you've got to do these, uh, these four questions, OK? Seven times six. Seven, 14, 21, 30. <laughs> half of me. 35. <clears throat> two more. 42, 42. 14. Carry the one. One, two. 34. Uh, right, Australia. Backwards. A U A U S T <laughs> A U S T No, that's not right. This is really embarrassing. Australia. Is that right? What? For our Australian cousins, it's USA Australia. <laughs> <laughs> My brain doesn't work. So, at the equivalent of a mere 14 kilometres underground... I sound Australian in my head. <laughs> ..the intoxicating effects of all that nitrogen would have brought my dig to Oz to a premature end. Time to go back up. Come on, John. Come back to us, John. And so he did. As the pressure decreased, the air in his body expanded. John has recovered. ..and restored him to his former glory. Look at that. And happily, I started making more sense too. How are you feeling, John? 